Welcome everyone to another Khan Academy tutorial. Today we're doing linear pair and vertically opposite angles. Let's jump right into this. Now it is asking us to find the value of A and B. And I'm looking at this diagram and I'm guessing they want you to make some assumptions. So we're gonna go ahead and make those assumptions and see if it works out for us. Now what are the assumptions I'm trying to make? Well, we need to understand or we need to know if this is a straight angle. If that is 180 degrees, if all those angles form uh, a linear pair, well, it's a linear triple, I suppose. Um, if they are, then we can we can make some progress. We also need to know if, if these lines are a straight line also, because that would make A and B vertical angles, meaning that they're going to be the same thing. Whatever we get for A, it's going to be the same thing for B because they are vertical. Okay, under that assumption, let's begin. Now, we have angle B here is a part of this three angle system that builds up to this line, which is AC. The three angles are B, and then we have 30, and then we have this angle here, and you must be able to identify that that's 90 degrees. Okay, so we have 90 degrees plus that 30 degree angle plus B is going to be equal to 180 degrees because it's forming a straight angle. So we have one, uh, that's 120 is that sum. So we do 180 uh, minus 120, and that's gonna be 60. So let me just write this out for you. So we subtract 120 from both sides. That's the sum of this guy, minus 120, and we get B equals 60. Now, if B is 60, that means A is 60. So we're gonna type that in under those assumptions, and hopefully we'll get that sound, and we did. Okay, find the value of A and B. Now, it's giving you lots of lines because it wants to trick you, but you just have to break it down and it's much more simple from there. Again, we have some angles here and we see that there's a straight line with FC, okay? With FC, and no, that doesn't stand for football club, where it's saying 80 plus A plus 35 is gonna equal that 180. And you can see that I color coordinated. Look at that, pretty good job there. And that kind of reveals what we're going for with that concept. And it makes it a lot easier for us to find angle A. And then from there, we'll find our angle B. Um, so what we did here is 80 plus 35 is 115. So we're gonna subtract 115 from both sides. And so we get angle A is equal to 65 degrees. There's our first one. This time, A and B are not vertical, okay? B is vertical to something, but what is it vertical to? Well, we need to look to see if it's formed by opposite rays. Well, here we have two lines forming, two lines forming. Okay, so B is formed with opposite rays with 80. So B is gonna be equal to 80 because they are vertical angles. They, vertical angles are kind of tricky when there's this many lines. A is not a vertical angle to this one over here because there's this little line that's cutting it off short. Notice how they don't have the same line go all the way through, forming the two sides of the angle, that the sides are not opposite rays. So we have B is equal to 80, A is equal to 65. Okay, so we got that one, and then B is 80. All right, next question. More of a mess, let's go ahead and break this one down. So we have, again, three angles that form uh, this pair, or not this triple here. We have, uh, let's use the correct colors, 40 plus 36 plus B, we'll start there, is equal to this straight, ooh, is that a straight angle? It doesn't look like it, does it? I don't know, so from this, from one of my angles, it doesn't look like it. Um, and I don't think so. So I'm looking here, and af after second guessing myself, I'm not sure if that's 100% straight. And I'm just thinking if I can do this any other way, and I don't think so. B does not have a vertical angle. A has a vertical angle, though, so maybe we should start with A. Because I'm not, I'm not feeling confident about that being a straight angle. So we know that A... And this angle here are vertical because they share these opposite, well, that would have, again, that assumption. So we're, we're going to have to assume that that's opposite rays because we can't find A or B unless we know that those are opposite rays. So we're going to go with that. Okay. So now we have 40 plus 36. That is 76. So we're going to minus 76 for both sides. That gives us B is equal to 
What is that, 104? Okay, so we know B is equal to 104. Um, and if those are opposite, then that means A is vertical uh, with 40. So A is going to be 40 and then 104. So 40, 104. Let's see if this gives us the, the chime. It does. Well, what do you know? Optical illusion. Find the value of A and B. Okay, we have a 90 degree angle here. So we know A plus B plus that 90 degree angle is going to be equal to 180, okay? So what I was doing here, we have this 90 degree angle plus B plus A is gonna be equal to 180, but we first have these uh, this vertical angle here. A is vertical to 25. So we need that first. So 25 plus 90 plus B is gonna be equal to 180. So what is that? That's 105, not 115. 115 uh, subtracted from 180, just doing this quick, and we get uh, B equals 65. So B equals 65 when we subtract 115 from both sides. Minus 115 from both sides, B equals 65, and we already said A is 25. So 25 and 65, 25 and 65. All right, hopefully you'll be hearing that sound that you did a great job. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Wes Explains Best.